so today we were looking at this uh, that the lord is giving new infant steps but you told me roshan early morning you got the same sense of the lord speaking to you uh, what 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 was it about this new thing this yes, actually it was uh, while i was praying with my wife in the morning uh, this sense of a new beginning it was a, like a new beginning so i was Uh, continuously telling new beginning everything is new yeah. new beginning so i was uh, actually i think the way you started your message also uh, uh, was about uh, animals and everybody yes uh, it, it was a new beginning how yes. the young start to walk how yeah. the young start their life yes. i mean in a sense they just come into the world and yeah. then you said to me who teaches them it's god who teaches yeah. them so i believe something new is happening yeah all things are passed away and all new it's a new beginning yeah so what is passing away yeah for this new thing to come because you also said something about agriculture yes. in military studies sometimes we we learn about these waves yeah the first wave was the agriculture wave yeah second became industry yes third became information yeah so i think we are coming back to agriculture yeah i i think sri lanka is giving a lot of prominence for agriculture now yes. his excellency the president has said that he is concentrating on agriculture that our Uh, our barns should be full one day and that we need to export yeah. uh, and uh, in that sense i think it's a new beginning there as well yeah. so what do you think god has in mind when when, when you think yeah. when you say it's a new beginning so when i found the new beginning what i found was the lord saying even for you even for me you will learn again of my ways you learn of, of my ways anew uh, that's the sense i got and then uh, for every uh, believer every child of god as he learns new things he will be able to face the new world or the post covid world now we know a time will come god will reorder this creation and for thousand years christ will be ruling earth it's not that we are talking about Hmm. it's about the new arrangement of how powers will work now uh, religion economics politics entertainment science and it let's put it together how these major powers will work now rick john has written an article and he has shown that the initial world history was all military power alexander the great uh, i mean darius nebuchadnezzar it, it was all about military rulers invading nations grabbing what they could uh, but once the roman empire settled and religion became important in that time then religious dignitaries decided on wars and in fact there were religious wars till about 1000 uh, so from 500 Uh, AD 2500 AD the world was very governed by religion oh. and boss then by 1500 AD nation states got politically powerful so the thing of nation states uh, starting with florence in italy uh, got very uh, th- that concept came politics politics oh. and nations and then uh, from about uh, from about the last part of the 19th century coming into the first world war while politics was still there ideologies took over the darwin ideology the marx ideology freud ideology the ideological okay. philosophy it was like a ideological philosophical thing you call it information so it was uh, that kind of you know mental intellectual information which spilled over into the digital age of course so from about uh, from about uh, let's say from the, from the bolshevik revolution 1917 uh, now lots of nations those who are very nation conscious gave themselves to communism so they forgot the nation and went after the ideology in a sense when the capitalist lines came up similarly people had uh, allegiance in the economic field so from politics economic power to over and from economic power some kind of 
ideological warfare is going on in the world, economics is still the power. Now, sometimes uh, nations look helpless, isn't it? They get into debt traps, mm. uh, other, other money, international monetary lending organizations can appear very powerful mm. and call slots and a national leader can feel very helpless. Uh, so, uh, in that scenario, we are moving into a time when the head of state in our nation or in another nation has to have new wisdom. How can I do well for my nation? So considering that when you are placed as the governor of the Western province, uh, you will also have to think and get your practical knowledge that you had as an administrator, senior administrator, at the, at, the, at, at the time the Air Force became most important, no, it was the most important time of the Air Force, fighting a war like that. With that administrative background, you have come into a time when not only Western province, many areas of the country has to rethink how do we do agriculture, how do we do governance, will some people be only working from home, so many areas need new thinking, new strategies. Mm. Isn't it how, the, and particularly those who are planning for the nation, has to keep the nation safe. At the same time, and, and, and be in a strong position in our nation to be able to speak economically. To, speak, to be able to speak agronomically. Now, if we are strong in food, for instance, we can speak strong. If we are strong in health, we get rid of COVID and our beaches and our natural resorts become so health-giving, we can speak strong. You get what I mean? Yes. Uh, because we came to a time when the dollar was not that strong in the sense of, in spite of dollars or yuan or euro, nations went very weak. What could money do? And all big nations, their economies are also in terrible strain. So nations have got a new start, and I'm sure God will work with this. So it's like uh, you were saying about the last post. Yes. Last post, generally, military is very yeah. acquainted with this. Yes. So you uh, feel very sad because you have to let go of Old somebody, skills. your loved ones yeah. who are you know, leaving you. Oh, so in, in, the, in the sense of this new thing that is beginning, so we, we, we need to let go of uh, some of the things that work for us. Uh, work in for the us old world. Also, but this system is not, Will not going to sustain. The new world, yes, yeah. not going new to scenario. Solve. It's a new beginning, so you finish yeah. the last post and then you. Get on, you get on. Yeah. It's after the last post. Yeah. There's something else also in yes. that song. So you, you begin your life. Again. Yes. And there'll be a tentative nature in people that can make them humble. You know, tentative means yes. we don't know how to do tea better than this. Uh, how do we do our agriculture better than mm. this? How do we connect our farmers with the consumer mm. better than this? Mm. Now, we can't annihilate the middleman. That mm. man has also got to work. Yes. He has to earn a living. So how can there be a more f better fraternity? Mm. This is Christian language. Yes. This is Christian language. Mm. How can the farmer who produces and the middleman who distributes mm. and the consumer work with a better understanding yes. that all <coughs> should live and let live, mm. isn't it? Yes. So the last post has been sounded. Yes. And now God is showing you a new beginning. Yes. From the very basic start yes. of life. Yes. So, and I, this thing uh, that comes to my mind is it live with the creation. Live with the creation. Yes. So uh, is that? Yes. Uh, so, last post sounded meaning hmm. the things that we have got familiar with and we thought is essential for life. So, we are confident God is doing something again, starting something afresh. I think we should be happy about that. Yes. However, when it was sounded in the morning, Roshan, hmm. I cried quite a bit, not knowing how we'll be adjust to this, hmm. the pain that's coming on the world. And then thinking those whom we deeply love and know for a long time, 
if they don't adjust to this, if they think we can go on in the same way. So I'm sure people who are decision makers are realizing we can't go on the same way, uh, cost cutting and other. Uh, so our generation, the 60s, 50s are also feeling the pang of it because we have to make the decisions. Uh, but those who are maybe younger or think differently, uh, who were the millennial generation, they could think things can go on forever. Mm -hmm. So I had this pang also, but uh, as we are discussing now, uh, God has to do it generationally. Millennials need to understand, mm -hmm. even the twenties need to understand what can parents do, what can't they do. Now at twenty people could, those days think quickly, I can go to any other country and get my first degree in any other country and my parents will have to sell a land even and get it somehow. Mm. Now we know we can't think like that. Mm. Then uh, how many other countries are safe? How many other countries have economies that can absorb? Mm. So Sri Lanka has to think Sri Lanka. Mm. We have to do the best for our nation, mm. for our 22 million people. Mm. Now there's a clamor, even our doctors abroad saying, will we have to go back to Sri Lanka? Is Sri Lanka is safer, mm. uh, that kind of, and many students are wondering. Mm. Uh, so we have to teach them values, it's not a matter of grabbing anyhow somehow. God created a nation, God created us in that nation mm. to do well with that nation. Yes. God works with those principles. So those who want to come back to Sri Lanka must not get worried about it where God made them as part of here. Mm. Mm. Uh, so we can't think anymore, what is best for me, grab it from here or there. That thinking will not work in the new world. Uh, the, we'll have to get nation conscious simply because God created nations. And in it we have to do together the good and perfect gift God gives a doctor, good and perfect gift God gives a senior administrator like you, uh, a lawyer or housewife, a farmer. A farmer becomes an important man. We can't leave that man to suffer with his losses. They are crying out there. And you, you have seen this, you are a man whose heart is close to agriculture. How do we get the best produce of the Western province, for instance, available to the consumer? How can the distributor be fair to the farmer, keep a profit, and also sell to the consumer at a fair price? So this business of fair has to be new thinking. I think God is uh, uh, telling us get back to the basics because yeah. now when he divided the land into yeah. nations, he, he did it because of a purpose. Yes. That's because people uh, trying to uh, go above God. Yes, at trying, Babel. At Babel. Yeah. So they were, they were planning, they were all one and they were yeah. trying to go above him, so he divided the nations, yeah. gave them different languages. Yeah. But then when you see this technology, it's yeah. trying to again get bring, bring all the global class. global class where of course the physically all this divided. Yeah. You're, I mean, in, the, in, the, in another sense we are trying to get together so, and then actually try to surpass yes, what so God far. has for us. What happened so at I Babel think, also, yes. but there was a global few, global mm. class, mm. few people who said, build this tower for our glory. Yeah. Not that they labored for it, mm. they got majority yeah. to labor for that idea mm. the oligarchy had. Mm. So now also when people are getting ready with plans mm. to control, mm. they are saying, uh, let, let us teach you how to run your country. Mm. This has been going on for yeah. some time and some mm. of it personally you have encountered. Mm. So now we will have to say, look, we will learn how to learn up how to run our country. We have mm. made our mistakes, mm. but we are learning at the same time mm. because you in your country will have to learn how to run your country now. Mm. It's like a reset, yes, hundred percent reset, reset mm. but each nation can be mm. quite equal now. In that we have all to start anew again. Yeah, when even, I mean, in our technical gadgets also, yeah. when it doesn't work, you reset it automatically, yeah. you restart your phone. Yes. And then it starts to work yeah. nicely. So I think 
God is uh, resetting everything. Yes. And okay, let's start from the beginning. Yes. Because I think you, you mentioned about your worry, how we will adapt. But then those little animals, yeah, they adapted. You yes. know, it was God has, because God has created us. Yeah in his image yeah. so what he wants will anyway adapt to it easily yeah. his image once again mm. thank you for reminding that mm. god's image in us is man's best gift yes not information mm. not philosophy not knowledge mm. man's best gift is the image of god yes because uh, genesis 1 26 said god created man in his image mm. and then he said i bless you Mm. which means with that image I bless you, mm. go fruitful, multiply, mm. fill what you have, steward what mm. you can for others, mm. and take dominion over the things that are not good. Mm. So he has already given a plan yes. out of the image he mm. put into each one of us. Mm. For instance, you may have an image of God that you have nurtured, that you can work with many different kind of personalities mm. in a senior administrative post, mm. uh, listening to ideas and mm. uh, sharing it and and and, and mm. weighing what is best. Mm. So when officers of different ranks of the government sit with you, they, it can be a blessing to them that they can play it out to you, mm. and you can give a considered view uh, without any prejudice or agenda of your own. So that is also a very valuable gift. Uh, so they get the, so that is a Joseph's gift really. Uh, which storehouse, how will it do? Uh, so that's a Joseph's gift. Whereas Daniel's gift has more to do with direct governance with heaven and how you handle political authority and the vicious things that comes against national authority, which you did when you were mm. commander of the Air Force. Yes. You understood what vicious things mm. can come to destabilize the government mm. in the form of good ideas, mm. uh, but they were ultimately not good ideas. Mm. Uh, so now also you may find both the Daniel part of it mm. and the Joseph part of it for daily maintenance, daily improvement, mm. uh, people needing both, yes. Actually, lastly, I would. This thought just came to me. So God appoints leaders. Yes. So our present president, yes. who is a good, he's a disciplinarian yeah. man with an analytical mind. Yes. So probably I think God has put him there for yes. this reset yeah. for Sri Lanka to yes. start again yeah. from the basics. Yes. Because I think people are talking about system changes and yeah. then. He is the ideal man for this. Yeah. I strongly believe that God put him there with a strong purpose for yeah. Sri Lanka. I think most Sri Lankans think in such a difficult time, mm. which needed to be handled with precision, mm. that he is doing that with that precision. Yes. Given the mm. massive problem, mm. world's economy, our economy, the COVID problem, mm. it's an unusual set of circumstances that no other head of state has ever faced, mm. which is true for every country. Yes. In every country, the head of state is groping mm. that we have kept debts to seven. Mm. And if not for the Navy issue, our, our infection rate is now down to zero. Mm. And 27 clusters where infection was mm. are now declared safe mm. and they didn't burst out, mm. so which, which is remarkable really. Yes, I think the Navy, we, we should not worry about that because it's in a controlled environment. Yeah. Everything happens for people to learn something out of it. Yeah. I think God taught us that you need to trust the Lord in everything. Yeah. Not to get too confident with man's ways yeah. as it can get into yeah. wrong things. So the Navy issue, I think, got a lot of... Uh, Prayer warriors praying very hard. Yes, we are, we are very, very grateful yes. for what they did. They mm. risked their life, mm. and when they in turn get infected with it, yes. it's our duty to stand by them. Yes, because you you were saying also now you can remember we prayed, uh, we bound this virus, we yes. we sent it back to Hades, yes. and we 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 actually attacked that. Yes, 
So what we learn today is that this has become sort of like a harmless yeah. thing in the sense people get it yeah. but they don't display any symptoms. We have none in the ICUs at the yeah. moment like other countries are having. Yeah. So I, I think God has uh, done a great miracle here. Yes, this happened during during the terrorism time also. Mm. Whole world thought this never stopped. Yes. But uh, we did pray every day at that time also, mm. and we saw from the time you became the commander of the air force that little by little, mm. in fact, in heaps, mm. the nation got quieter and quieter and quieter, mm -hmm. and terrorism stopped. So here also we believe God's power to intermingle mm -hmm. with every good human effort. Uh, so we believe the power of God diffuses when the doctors are working, when the army is working, PHIs are working. We are praying in every way wisdom comes to them. Every way. We are, we are praying grace even for those who get infected to stay in one place, isn't it? Mm, yes. So God's wisdom comes, God's power helps in many, many different ways. Mm. And we are saying in a new situation, May God's power also help us in our agriculture, our mm. economy. And of course, God's power works with simple people. Mm. God's power can come with a mighty force, no mm. doubt about that. Mm. But often God worked with a Daniel in his place, mm. Nehemiah in his place, mm. and a good dad at home looking after his people, and a chairman getting new ideas how to keep a company running. Mm. So in all those things, God's yeah. power works in day-to-day -day affairs, isn't it? Yes. So we pray our Father. Give us this day our daily bread. So from natural to supernatural. Yes. And that the supernatural is not as distinct as people think. Mm. It can be distinct, mm. but it often works mm. in a mother's humble prayer, where mm. the mother is able to give milk to a baby. Mm. Uh, the very birth process, it has so many supernatural mm. things yes. intertwined mm. that what man takes for natural, God helps all the time. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today.